everybody, welcome to the homestead. So today we're going to get into Creation Crate. Uh, we signed up, and I've been telling people about this on our channel for the last month or so, and I think it's a great way to teach children about electronics. And so Joshua is going to be opening up, unboxing his first Creation Crate. Uh, it's an Arduino project, and uh, so we're going to open it up, take a look at what's inside, and um, see how to put it together. And again, this is a great way for homeschoolers, people who, uh, you know, even people who go to regular school or any school, um, even adults, I think, would get into this and like Arduino. I learned about this years ago from uh, a coworker who uh, was doing it with his child, and I thought to myself, that would be a great project when I have a child who gets old enough uh, to be able to do that with him as well. And so, we're going to go ahead and do the unboxing, show you what's inside, and then go ahead and try to complete the project. Let's go ahead and open this up, and then I'll let you open it. And we'll try to keep it right here so everyone on camera can see as well, all right? Mm -hmm. There you go. Go ahead and open it. Bubble wrap. Oh, bubble wrap. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, go ahead and open it and see what's in there. Okay, watch out the camera there, buddy. Right. What's in there? Open it up. There's some instructions. Here's some instructions. A card. Okay. Here's some more instructions. And this. Okay, interesting. And a breadboard. And it's wire. Got a, it's got a breadboard. And wires. There's some wires, right? And, wires. and more wires. Okay, that's the power cord for the laptop. Okay, USB. Resistors and lights. It's got a resistor and some lights there. Some stickers. Some stickers. Uh, All right. I'm taking. Oh, there's another. You got this here. What's that? It's the Arduino board. Yep, that's the Arduino. I had to. You got an Arduino Uno. Mm -hmm. And another sticker. Okay. All right. So let's lay all this out here. And this thing, whatever that is. Here, here you go, Caleb. Okay, take that. You can have one of the stickers too. Okay, so we've got everything laid out. Here's the breadboard. You have the uh, Arduino Uno. Uh, you have some of the wiring and the jumper wires, and then you have some jumper bars right here and here. You have that resistor, you have the lights, and then you have a light. Um, what is that called again? I forget what that's called. It's called the light resistor, okay? Light dependent resistor. And so, uh, and these I, I believe are like other types of jumpers, I think. But that comes with the Arduino. Um, and so there you go, you've got everything laid out, and so now we just have to go through the instructions and start wiring it up. And this. Oh yeah, that's the cable for um, the laptop. We won't need that until last. So um, now we just gotta follow the directions and go ahead and hook everything up. Okay, so we've got this together and it's plugged in and I don't know if you can see how much you can see of it, but it's turning color. So right now it's kind of like a purple color and it's going from purple to blue to red to different pinks and oranges, things like that. And so uh, it's changing color slowly based on the code, uh, the C-sharp code that Joshua has programmed into the Arduino board. And uh, it's got a light resistor on it so that it only works in the dark. So if, if the lights come on, this turns off. And just kind of neat. Uh, right now I've got the curtains kind of drawn back, but it's pretty dark in here. And yeah, let me close the, close the blinds there. Oh, wait a minute. But let's go ahead and take a look at the code a little bit. 
Okay, you can see the screen here. This is Joshua's screen on his computer, and uh, I'm actually in his room right now with the lights kind of dimmed down. And you can see the code. Basically, first, what you're going to be doing is declaring your variables. He typed all this out um, basically from the instruction manual that comes with the creation crate. And then after you declare your variables, uh, you have to give your variable something to do. And so that's what the rest of the code here is for. And um, he write, wrote all this out. Now, for a nine-year-old to write out C-sharp, you know, he's just copying and typing down what he sees in the book. Uh, and so, you know, the, the thing is, a lot of this stuff is commented in the instructions very well so that he can read along and see what each piece of the code is doing. Now, I don't have him write all the comments uh, for the code that's in the instruction manual because they have that those, that those comments commented out from the code. Um, he doesn't type that down if you know what I'm talking about. But um, he do, it does give him the idea of what he's doing and what each piece of code actually does um, and, and what the job that the job that it's performing. So that's really helpful, and, and I'm glad they give that. That's that's really good for people who come later after code has already been written. Uh, they know what the original author was trying to do with the code and what each piece, uh, the importance of each piece of the code, and what it, and what its job is. So what its function is, and so all of that is included. Um, he just typed out the code, and but he knew he was learning as he went what each piece did, and so that's really cool. And so. Uh, uh, you know, you go basically go all the way down, and then you can go back up and just see all the different things he wrote. Uh, it's not a real hard piece of code. It's just simple. It's a simple program, and he wrote it out, and it performs well. It works good. Okay, so here's the instruction booklet uh, from the very beginning. It gives you the parts list introduction, and uh, all, lays all the parts out for you. Then gets in with wiring, and my nine-year-old had no problem at all wiring this set, to, you know, to get it finished and complete. So anyone older would, I would assume, would have no problem as well. And, and then it goes through some more instructions and through the beginning of the code. And so you start doing the code and it gives you all the comments again of what each piece of the code is doing and what its purpose is. And so that's really helpful. And you just finish doing the code. And then you have uh, some other things, some uh, troubleshooting that you can go through. If you have problems, some things that may be happening, you know, be sure to check for typos in the code, things like that. And so it, it runs you through those common errors that you may get. And then some additional exercises exercises that you can make and change with uh, the project that, that's included here. So it gives you some other things you can do. So it's really neat. It's got, you know, just a really cool put together booklet that you can go through. And if you wanted to, you wouldn't have to actually go through and uh, type out the code. They do give you a website with a password that I have blacked out right here that you can go through and download the code if you didn't want to write it out. But really, to be honest with you, I mean, you're not going to learn anything if you don't start typing out the code yourself. And then realize and learn how, what the code code's purpose is by reading the comments next to it. So, um, again, my nine-year-old can do it. I think you guys can too. Really pretty cool instruction booklet, very detailed. I think you'll get a lot out of this. So there you go. That's the first project, the first Creation Crate project. We're going to go ahead and get started on the next one. You'll be able to watch the next one in the playlist called Homestead Homeschool. Uh, we'll go ahead and put all of the different Creation Crate projects that we get in the mail under that playlist. Did you like this one? It was pretty good? Yes. You want to do some more? Mm-hmm. Okay, so... We're going to do some more. I think your kids are going to really love this too. If you want to sign up for Creation Crate, uh, Creation Crate, we have an affiliate link in the description below. Please check that out and click on it. Uh, it helps us out a little bit. And I know you guys are going to enjoy this and uh, get a lot out of it for sure. So, all right. We're looking forward to the next one. Mm -hmm. All right. See you guys next time on The Homestead. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button below the video. It really means a lot to us. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Now you can support an American homestead by becoming a patron. Visit patreon.com slash an American homestead to see all the benefits of becoming a patron of our channel. You'll get access to private videos, pictures, and even live question and answer sessions that you can participate in. Some patrons will even receive free gifts throughout the year from the homestead. Visit patreon.com slash an American homestead to check it out and see the rewards of supporting our channel.